Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 26 of our Xerxes 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as the Mountain Clans of the Whale. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finished the war with the Dutch of the Weekend then. I've messed it up a little bit and unfortunately did not stitch down Crab Shore, so we still have the guy with the fate of C7 in here, but I managed to give the Dutch to the proper person, so let's hope. He's not gonna, or he's gonna be able to keep this dungeon, not gonna get, uh, not gonna get rebellion himself. And also, we we got a liberation revolt in the previous episode. Luckily, we have a lot of uh, attrition penalties all over our uh, our country, so we managed to fight it off. But now, unfortunately, we're a part of the Iron Throne because we are technically the vassal, so we're not allowed to declare war on Lord as I planned. So we're probably gonna be mostly focusing on like factioning. Because I started the independence faction, so if I could get at least like I don't know Rich or Rock to join, we are gonna have a chance to win. And also, you're want, uh, wanting me to well, offer me the position of commander? Ah, uh, no, I don't want to die leading your armies. So, no thanks. Your religious council is discontent. Am I on the council? I'm not on the council. Oh, that's it's really unfortunate. He offered me the position of commander, but not the master at arms or something. So, I am probably a powerful vassal, right? I don't know if I could see it somehow. There's also a lot of stuff in here. Religious council disconsent for 10 months and will be until 52. This means that if councillors were prohibited below from forming and joining factions, they might now do so. Okay. Loyalists. Lord Gregor of Harrenhal. Is it Gregor Clegane? No. Okay, those are a lot of people, that's fine. I'm still gonna be a part of the independence faction. Also, there is a quite a big loyalist for the Otheris who's trying to place him. And he actually calls himself a king, not even the Lord Paramount. Even though he's technically a part of the Iron Throne, so that's interesting. Uh, if I were to get, like, rich, as I already said, to join the faction, it would be quite convenient. So how about... Oh, where's my spy master right now? In the capital, so I need to change my spy master to like rich. And also, I want to be able to declare wars myself. But because we have this uh, trident war, uh, because we see. Yeah, by the way, in the previous episode, uh, Night's Watch actually fell to the wildlings. So that's quite nice. The Iron Throne now trying to restore it. The guards drag Harold Templeton from his. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, I'm not gonna be handling it myself. Unhap oh no, my brother. I I'd better spend money. I don't want my brother to freaking die in this event. Balabar steps forward, I'll send for you. My okay, that's fine. It is done, your champion lies dead. Yeah. That's what I thought. And it it might have been my brother and my heir, so some random person gonna die, I'm not gonna cry about that, but not not my brother. We need to get all rid of all of these males in the prison. Because they're all gonna be asking for the friend freaking trial by combat. Will I sacrifice you? No. It's gonna cost me tyranny. What if I were to release you? Who's heck are you at all? Lin, Lin, Lin. Some vassal under the Lannisters. And if I were to release you? It's probably not gonna give me anything, right? No one wants to ransom you? Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna keep you in my prison. Or actually, yeah, if I couldn't ransom you, why, what's the point of keeping you in the prison? You're just gonna try to kill someone. Excuse me? Okay, for some reason it haven't updated for some time. Okay, we also have some money to spend on our upgrades in the capital, so let's go and get ourselves, like, I don't know, castle town? In the air, it's probably gonna be hard to build a town on the this freaking rock, but still. Okay, try don't lose in this massive battle. In case it's good. We improved the relations with the rich. That's actually pretty nice. Also, I don't know... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they couldn't join factions like this. Uh, when they're technically, like, independent. So, instead of sending it to the rich, let's go and send it to, like... Oh, I'm actually gonna be allowed to send it all the way to Mirin. I think so. It's part of our realm, so... It shouldn't be too far away. When I'm gonna be able to resign you in September. Plot and Coward, Tax Attack, Skymaster, Vassal Discord from Joint Faction, Noble Encourage to join your faction. For 35% uh, per month. Yeah, that's 
pretty high chances, so I'm gonna try to do that. And yeah, it would be nice if I were to be uh, able to make a whole bunch of kingdoms independent. Also, some of my vassals are actually king loyalists. Oh, crown loyalist is actually in my... Interesting. I have 100% of crown loyalists. Why is they so loyal? Even though they have negative opinion of me. Huh. Strange. Okay, sure. As long as you're not factioning against me, I am gonna be fine. Also, the Anathon have approved the institution of the balanced noble obligation law. I don't really care about this. Laws? Also. How's the war with the Wildlings going? Looks like you're not really focusing on that. Yeah, you're mostly dealing with the Trident right now, but you still have a pretty huge army, so... When the Trident gonna be crushed... Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So my Vassal and my Courtier could marry. Uh, why do I need to approve this marriage? Not entirely sure, but sure. Why not? Also, we need a Maester. How do I get a Maester? I probably need to send... To send for the Maester? What is the decision? Take loan, ask, go, establish, employ... No, there is no such decision for some reason. Maybe because I'm a Wilding and I do not have Maesters. That might be... The reason why I'm not allowed to. My prisoner is complaining. I'll just release you and... Take a favor from you. What could I use it for? Mm, force acceptance, acceptance, acceptance. Join factions. Yeah, she's like a random person, so I couldn't really use her for anything, but I couldn't ransom her uh, anyway, so why not just take favors from them? Actually, is there a way for me to just release them using favors? Move to dungeon cell, put an arrest, take a. S oh! Salt wives! I forgot! I actually could take prisoners assault-wise, but they're actually too old. Hmm. Yeah, I need more wives. Because my wife is actually incapable of making sounds for some strange reason. And also, the most annoying thing is that I'm not allowed to pillage while I'm under my leash. I'm not allowed to do any freaking thing. I might consider joining King Otheris faction, but... Mm, nah. It would be nice to replace a king, but it would be even better to just get rid of the king and get rid of the kingdom of the Iron Throne. Because I... I want to be independent. I want to rule myself. So, is it already September? Yeah. So, this guy now should be allowed to go to Mirin. So, it should be... Yeah, it should be the capital of you. So, if we could get you to join this faction, it would be... Pretty nice, because I think you're the, one of the most powerful vassals around here. The only problem with you is that... Most of your troops are around Mirin, and you're too stupid uh, to be able to move them around. Yes, this guy has 25 freaking thousand troops, what? It's crazy. Let's go and send our diplomat in here as well. I don't know if uh, the chance of him joining even uh, depends on any, or like on any opinion of me. But just in case, let's go and improve that. Oh, so we have the Jure claims. Oh yeah, that's what I could do while... Uh, while being at peace, declare a war. Must have a valid CB. Excuse me? This thing sh shows that I have the jure claim. Do I need to declare it on my uh, leash? No. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's interesting. So the pop-up says that I have the jure claim, but the other pop-up says I don't have the jure claim. Okay, sure. Oh! Claims on what? Claim on some place in Pandas. Also, this douchebag is actually trying to replace people I've been placing with the uh, All Gods of the Mountain religion. He already managed to replace like this one in... I can't even pronounce this name. Yeah, most of them still of my thought. I don't know if it's actually gonna help me in any way, but if I were to conquer Bravos at some point, it, could, it would be a lot easier to deal with the vassals. So what kind of claims we have in here? Strong claim on East Andalus. Claim on this place. Anyone have a claim on, like, the entire kingdom? No, I just have random people with, <laughs> with a claim on this one county. Uh... No, that would be quite stupid. 
to declare this war. Lord Alexander of Sunderland used a favor on Lord Jamie to force him to join factions. Okay, sure. Actually, is there any way? Is there any way I could buy favors from this Miranese guy? Buy favor. It would be possible, and then I might force him to join the faction. Okay, that might be a actually thing to try to do. Also, who is a part of the... Yeah, no one is a part of the kingdom right now. Could I buy favors from Rich? Not quite. I need some extra opinion. Okay, so if I were to actually improve relations, I might be able to buy favors and probably then force them to join factions, which would be quite sweet. What about the Dorn? Is the Kingdom of Dorn still existent? Because this is just a mess. Yeah, we do have a Martel still in the Dorn. Conflicts and interests. Okay. I guess I just need to improve relations with more people. Talking about relations. I could send gifts them first. 47 ducats for a gift only? They're so cheap. Still not quite enough for a favor. What about Mirin? 78, I guess it's good enough. What about a favor? Oh! Okay, let's buy a favor. And could I now force you to join my faction? It would be really interesting. Your gift and we'll remember your good intentions. Ask to join factions. Yeah, I could just force him to join the faction. Uh, who are you fighting with right now, by the way? Drogos Kalasar. Okay. So we're just getting pillaged by Kalasar, right? Yeah. So, for how long we're gonna have a this favor? Is it gonna be for like his, uh, for his lifetime? Hmm. <laughs> should I force him to join right now, or should I just wait? Huh. It doesn't tell anywhere for how long this favor gonna last. I guess I'm just gonna wait. I want to get a favor from like Rich. Okay, so now that I have a favor with you, I don't even need my spy master in here. Okay. <laughs> I need to move him again. So yeah, if I were to have like Murin and Rich in this uh, faction, I would be willing to declare it right away. And my wife is pregnant again. Let's hope this time it's gonna be a son. Hopefully a genius and hopefully a life. Mm, someone's trying to replace a spy master. That's nice. I guess. I don't really care. Steward Lord Aaron has come uh, with some interesting ideas. Sure. Let's spend all the money. Our income is actually not as great anymore as it were before. Actually, I don't remember how much we had before. But still... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, not, let's not spend this favor for now. Because I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna work out. Helia Batak needs childhood focus. It's my daughter. You're gonna be focusing on, I don't know, thrift. Why not? There's no such thing as spy mastery focus for some strange reason. Mm, but she still could probably become a spy master at some point. And actually, Iron Throne managed to reach this play and already resiege the <clears throat> the Black Black Brotherhood. How could I call you? The Night's Watch. Yeah. So the Night's Watch probably gonna get restored, and soon we're gonna be all at peace. And then I would be able to try to buy some extra favors and maybe break the realm in the Independence faction. Yeah, this favor system actually probably makes it a lot easier. Okay, so you go back to Reach. And my spy master go back to the rich. Oh, excuse me? Oh yeah, I couldn't send you because you're technically not the part of the realm for now. Uh, where is the capital of Dorn right now? Then. In here. Why is part... Like half of the Dorn is being controlled by the Iron Throne directly? I do not know. What kind of other kingdoms we have in here? We could... No, we couldn't... We couldn't do much anymore. I could just send them extra gifts. What if I were to send a gift to Lannisters? Or have I done it already? I haven't. Buy favor. Okay, yeah, we do not have money to buy extra favors. Maybe I, I've... Um, maybe I actually ex... Like, uh, thought about my income more than we have. 
because I, I uh, got quite used to having a lot of income with the uh, with the campaign we have in uh, like with the share campaign as a republic. Oh, so fine, yeah. As I expected, this guy trying to rebel and try the duchy, but I could force him to stand down now. And if he's gonna refuse? Oh, excuse me? There's nothing I could do? What are you talking about? Oh! Fucking hell. Now stay. time... God damn it. Now stay the part of the Iron Throne, I don't have this realm authority anymore and couldn't force this guy to actually end the war, could I? Due to the level of Roman authority, the command will not be legally binding. Oh, come on. Could I imprison him legally? In any way? Where's the imprisonment button? There's not even an imprison button? I don't want this guy to take over the duchy. Because I'm pretty sure that's what he's trying to do. War against the tyranny. Mm, let's try to tell him again to stay the, st stop the war, but he's probably gonna refuse again. We have another one, daughter. Are you fucking kidding me? Give me sons, woman. And of course he's refusing. Of course. What else are you fighting with? Oh yeah, you're just fighting with each other, but this guy have only 70 troops, so there is no freaking way he's gonna win. Lord Gosson of Longbow Hall used a favor. Yeah, I don't care. And Mirin is a this <laughs> this Iron Throne is just is such a filthy mess. It's just ridiculous. We discovered the plot, yeah yeah yeah. How's the knights watch doing? Oh <laughs> this girl is now even being invaded by the king beyond the wall. Okay, that's fine. But how is your war going? Should be already at like 70%, maybe on even uh, even more. Perhaps the glass is filled fuller than I believe to be. Who's a cynical, okay? The war with this thing. 63, okay. Oh, Lord Tyvon? Oh yeah, it's the same king. Derp. Uh, position of the commander. Screw you. Not gonna be leading your armies and threatening my life. Because I don't even have a freaking son. I have three daughters. And daughters couldn't inherit. As a wank. My brother is still a pretty decent heir, but I would prefer to have my own sons instead. Also, I could place commanders in my own army. Not gonna place someone. Uh, counselors doing what they are supposed to do. Yeah, being the muscle on the Iron Throne is not really the most thrilling thing. I couldn't really do much in this episode, unfortunately. And there's no more faction for, the, for this King of Theris, because he's now dealing with his own war somehow. Even though he's... Even though he's not. Are you gonna come back on the Iron Throne now? Or you managed to somehow become independent, because it would be ridiculous. Yeah, it's a freaking mess. All the vassals just coming, uh, changing their religious, like, constantly. <laughs> you couldn't do shit about that. There should be like some uh, some kind of a mechanic implemented where after all the wars all the de jure was just coming back on their, under their de jure religious because this is just painful to look at, the border gore. Oh, you bastard. You're forcing me to leave the faction, aren't you? Oh, they had... I had someone actually joining by themselves. Mm, I have learned that there are certain factions within the realm working to undermine my rule. Best not to risk it. You decide it would be in your best to comply. This letter was an act of desperation. You refuse this outrageous demand. Is he gonna be uh, able to imprison me for that? I'm not sure. Let's just go and decline and see what's gonna happen. I hope I'm not gonna get imprisoned, but I want to keep factioning. And we actually now have uh, people who join on our side, which is quite convenient. Excuse me, what just happened? I don't know, we just inherited something. 
Uh, what? Okay, this. And this. Oh, I haven't heard that 9 star. So this war just ended inclusively. Oh, that's quite convenient. Mm hmm. But it still has no levy. Have I inherited the Dutch as well? I have. Well, I'm just gonna give it to some new guy. Man, not imprisoned, any marriage. Not a ruler, my religion, my culture, adult. Not a great house, let's gonna give you tons of uh, diplomacy just so you're gonna be able to flatter your freaking vassals. Uh, nine star. And... We can then. And actually, it's already time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. And let's hope the wars with the Iron Throne in the next episode are gonna finish, and we're gonna be able to get a little bit more members in our independence faction. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you can subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, I should definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.